Hey everyone, this is Disk Junkie, and today I'm actually back to show you something which I don't know. I said I was gonna try to do it every year, but it feels like you know it's just time passes so quickly, I just forget to do it, and then all of a sudden it's like holy shit, it's August 2017. Where has the time gone? The more common question that I get is people asking me to do an updated walkthrough of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. Now I've made two videos or three videos where I basically go through my entire Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. I tend to think that I don't buy so many Texas Chainsaw releases because I have most of them already but uh, seeing as it's now been about a year and I started going through my shelf behind there and pulling out the stuff that's new and I sort of realized that yeah I still buy a lot of editions. We are in the new DVD room or movie room, man cave, what you want to call it. I'm still not done with the movie room so forgive me if things are a bit out of place but I thought you know what the hell I'm just gonna do a run through of the new stuff in the Text Chainsaw Massacre collection. First things first just wanted to give you a bit of an overview of what the shelf looks like. Now we are in the sort of exterior DVD room, the smaller DVD room, which is you know upstairs. This is sort of what it looks like. Now in there is the main DVD room. But I'm not gonna show that today. I'm gonna get back to making a more detailed video on that once it's finished. What you see here are Billy bookshelves and everything in the middle, the three shelves in the middle, that's all with Texture Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper, the original film, none of the sequels. I do have some documentary sets up slight different types of movies, but 95% of this is all the original film on all kinds of formats. That shelf there is also basically just Texas Chainsaw. The shelf on the left side here has nothing to do with Texas Chainsaw, it's just a separate shelf, so we can just ignore that. I guess we can start from the top left, and uh, these are basically DVDs that are somewhat unsorted. You know, I've tried to sort the whole thing based on countries now, which I think is sort of practical when you're trying to keep track of what you have and what not. This shelf is basically mixed stuff that I don't really have so many releases of that I can make it a section of their own, so to speak. You know, some of these might be things that I've shown before, but I've tried to really go through it to, you know, make sure that I haven't. First, we have a VCD video disc. This one is from Hong Kong and it's released by a company called Evergreen. It's just a CD jewel case in a cardboard sleeve. Next up, very similar, but it's a DVD keep case in a cardboard sleeve from the same company. Then we got another VCD. This one is from Thailand. Looks like this. Got the back. Next up, we got a Russian DVD, which I've been looking for for years. Very difficult to find this one, and it's becoming really tedious to take these in and out. And next up is a Greek DVD. Also extremely unusual keep case. Another VCD from Korea. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Korea. Here's one from Bosnia. The only release from Bosnia that I have, and it's also one of those keep cases which I've been trying to find for a long time. Some of these, you know, these really weird countries, that's sort of usually the place where it's uh, the most difficult to find releases from. Over here is something different entirely. This is my very small Texas Chainsaw Massacre pornography section. Back in the old video I just had these two, it's a VHS and a DVD. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about this. Let's just skip these for now I think. If somebody wants to see this I'll just make another video of them. This is the UK United Kingdom section. The only things that are new here as far as I know is this. This is a very rare 8mm film reel version from Ivor Film Services. Now I had one of these before which was just you know one of these which was an a bridge version to roughly like 20 minutes but now I actually found a full length version which comes on four reels like this you can see that I got four of them stacked to each other and then they basically have like part one two three four printed on them which makes them differ a little bit visually from the abridged version you can see the abridged one doesn't have a sticker but apart from that the cover and everything is basically the same and then we got a new blu-ray which came out recently that I hadn't had time to pick up 
So that's the Blu-ray UK version, which has a double-sided insert, actually. So then we get to the Dutch slash Finnish versions. Sort of a weird cross here. Now, I did have one of these Dutch tapes before, but I wanted to show you that I recently found one which is exactly the same, except it's actually slightly upscaled. So it actually comes in a big clamshell. And I was really happy to find this because I never knew it existed so it's basically exactly the same in terms of the design but it comes in a big clamshell instead of a small one then we get some finished ones run through them sort of quickly keep case then we got a diggy pack with similar design and we got finished blu-ray finished steelbook which is released all throughout scandinavia in the same design and lastly a finished keep case sort of like the 40th anniversary not spending too much time on these because they have so much to go through and they are very similar in design to a lot of the other versions already shown then we get to the spanish section not too much stuff here but i thought i would pull out a couple this is one which is really similar to versions i've had before but it's actually released by a company called calle 13 basically means like street 13 pushing that back in then we got two blu-rays standard spanish blu-ray don't remember if i've shown this or not or if i had it but i did find this which is kind of weird you can see that this has a orange blu-ray case and i was sort of thinking like yeah i found a really cool different version but when i got it i realized that all this sort of special stuff with it sort of had a postcard and stuff felt like it was very sort of bootlegish and homemade sadly but the seller who sold me this actually told me that this was like a store exclusive that was you know they made it like a unique orange keep case but basically everything about this is exactly the same as the regular blu-ray version might be self-made might not be but what the hell it was kind of cheap so still sort of a fun thing to have then we get to some of the Australian releases. Here is a new 40th anniversary Blu-ray version. Can't remember if I showed it or not, but I don't think so. Here's an older DVD version. Then we got some French editions over here. Now this is a 40th anniversary Blu-ray version. Then we got the same, but for DVD. Sorry I didn't show the back in case you want to see it. I can't show everyone in like super detail, but should give you some idea of it. A couple of more French versions. And the last one. Moving down here, we got some Spanish releases. And this is the only new Spanish one that I got. It is a classic VHS release actually really collectible from video gala one of the earlier spanish versions sadly the tape in that is actually wrong i actually received the wrong tape so a bit bummed about that but hopefully i'll be able to find the right tape someday here are the australian releases and then some french releases because i have different sizes of shelves you know I, I said this are like the australian releases but i already have australian stuff over there like here i have the spanish stuff but i also have spanish stuff here like spanish spanish big cases and small cases same here like australian Australia big and small to make everything fit because then I know I will always have like space if it doesn't fit on the small shelf it will fit on the big shelf not sure if that needed clarifying but whatever here's the only French version that I picked up that I didn't have from before and you might think that I already shown this because it's very similar to this one but they are in fact different the easiest way to tell is that this one which is much more common even though it's supposed to to be rarer so to speak i think this is a later release it's actually copyright 1991 whereas this is much older from 1983 actually so it's a very early version but even so this is the version that i found the most difficult to get a hold of it's probably not considered a collectible tape and by that standard people just throw it away whereas this older one like the preset era kind of tapes they would be considered collectible so it's probably easy to hunt for those whereas these which are not collectible and are sort of mid 90s kind of tapes those are just considered trash so in these days they have sort of ended up in trash bins because people don't want tapes anymore and it's not a collectible tape so then it sort of becomes really hard to look for it was also a tape which i didn't even know existed until somebody sent me a pic then there are some swedish releases I've shown you all these already, and then we have Italian versions. These are all DVDs, so I'm just gonna flip through them. I basically had one of these before, but I forget which one it was, so just thought I would uh, flip through these kind of fast. And here at the end are a couple that are looking really similar, but they are in fact different. 
but I can't really go into all of the little details, you know. I gotta keep going. It's Swedish VHS tapes down at the bottom. I had all these before. Here are the Italian tapes. This, I think, is the only new version that I got. Also one of the rarer Italian tapes that I've seen. Cardboard sleeve. Moving over here to the center. Danish releases. I think basically all of the Danish releases are new. These are really similar to the Finnish versions as well as like the Swedish versions, basically all of Scandinavia. This particular one, which is the Blu-ray, differs from a lot of the other Scandinavian releases in that the Blu-ray case is gray and clear, whereas usually the Blu-ray cases for the specific version looks like this. Another one. Might have shown that before. Steelbook version, same as in the other Scandinavian countries. Keep case, keep case 40th anniversary, Blu ray 40th anniversary, some older DVD versions from on air video. Sorry if I don't mention all of the um, distributor names, but it would take forever. Here's a really somewhat rare VHS version also from on air video in Denmark. Then we get to some UK versions. I think this is one of the few new ones which I was sort of unaware of. This is a small clamshell. I think for a lot of years I sort of confused this with the larger clamshell version and I didn't really know that there were different variations. Tell that this one sort of has a red little stripe at the top there. It finally led me to realizing that there were two different versions. God, I sound like such a sort of geeky big eyeglass nerd right now. Feels like a millhouse or something when I'm talking. Next up I finally got the Ivor Film Services beta version with this cover. So this is Betamax. I have the same on VHS from before. Then we got some really similar ones. The other cover variation from Ivor Film Services which looks like this. This does come in the red clamshell. The red clamshell is not original but what's different about this version in particular compared to all the other ones I have is that this one doesn't have a format logo. It doesn't have a VHS logo at the top which you can see there. All the other are sort of marked VHS or beta or whatever. But this one doesn't have that although it does have the same spine number, I can't really focus, but there is a tape label, it's kind of different. It's actually a white. So I'm not sure if this is sort of like a bootleg or if it's authentic, but the insert definitely feels authentic. Maybe the tape's a copy, I don't know. And then we move up to the American versions. Of course I know these are the only ones that's new. This is a blockbuster video VHS version. So it's uh, basically, you see here, it's the standard MPI release, but has a Blockbuster sticker and then they sort of made their own printed insert, so it's basically like repackaged. Here's another one which is exactly the same thing, but it was repackaged by a company called Hollywood Video. I don't know if they rented out movies, I don't really know much about this, but it sort of says previously viewed, nine bucks, so... I have very little info about this, but found this absolutely awesome because it's such a weird version, which I'm guessing I will never come across again. Then we get to the German ones, the stuff that's new. Blu-ray 4K Ultra HD version. Might have shown some of these in the past, I'm not sure. This is the older keep case DVD in a slip case. Here's one which showed in the previous video, but the version I had then didn't have the text at the bottom. So finally I was able to pick up some of these slightly odd variations which I was missing. Moving upwards, here are also German versions. Now we get to Canadian section, but first these are the newer sort of VHS inspired box sets from Fright Rags, like a T shirt sort of collectible box it which has like a t-shirt and a bunch of knickknacks. Not sure if I showed this but I did replace it. This is a very rare French Canadian version. It comes in a cardboard slip case. I think I had this before but I basically picked up another copy which is in much better condition. Really happy to get that. Here's a Canadian one which is actually an American version. You know it's got a sticker on the back which says distributed in Canada exclusively by Astral Video. So this is an American tape relabeled by Astral Video for distribution in 
Canada. Not sure about the history, but that's basically what it looks like. Picked up another one of these. This is the French Canadian Astral video version, big clamshell with the French title on it. I had this one before, but the version I had before is the Betamax, and now I finally have the VHS version as well. You can see them side by side there. This is the bootleg corner. All of the weirdo bootlegs that I found over the years, not too much new stuff. But I do have this, not a real VHS release. This is something which I picked up from a Instagram user called Terror Factory. They made this fake insert based on the Australian cover variation, which I have over here. There we go. Sort of Japanese version inspired by the Australian one. They do pretty cool stuff. Artwork and t-shirts and things like that. So this is basically just like an empty clamshell. Except it's got some stickers and stuff in it and I didn't get the clamshell They basically sent this sort of like a postcard, but it's actually a perfectly sized insert So I thought it's really cool to make it into a clamshell and they sent me that totally for free I just contacted them saying like, you know, I like your work and wonder if I could get one They were like sure so really great gesture. Just love that uh, kind of stuff Then we got another one also not an actual VHS release, but just something released by Rotten Rentals the limited edition number 23 out of 20 Five, just a sort of fake VHS clamshell containing some 80s kind of knickknacks like pins and stickers and whatnot which are not all for Texas Chainsaw it's just like what the Rotten Reynolds do they make some of these sort of nostalgia kind of packs with various artworks on them so when I noticed that they were making a Texas Chainsaw version I thought like you know well gotta have that for the weirdo bootleg section okay this is the documentary section where I got like all the documentaries that have sort of been released on standalone versions like without the actual film being part of the release these i've all shown before and these are basically the ones that new i think here's a new american blu-ray older vhs version also for the family portrait this might be american might be canadian family portrait from italy even in a keep case here's a new documentary or like an interview called leatherface speaks which is a, a short interview with Gunnar Hansen from the UK. Then we got another Texas Chainsaw Massacre Fabian Portrait Revisited. DVD in the keep case, Canadian or American. If you want to see all of my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection, I advise you to check out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre database on Instagram. That's TCMDB. Like IMDB, except it's TCM. So TCMDB, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre database, basically show pics of all of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection, and it's got tags and whatnot, so you can sort of actually use it as a database. So if there's anything from here that you feel like you want to have a look at and you don't see it, you can just check out my Instagram account Canadian or maybe American then we got a Dutch DVD release for the family portrait documentary I really like this because the cover design is somewhat unique we got a German version of family portrait keep case DVD and lastly we got actually a really unusual and rare version of the shocking truth and this is not the UK version which you might confuse it with it is in fact the Australian version. Australian rainy there. So this is not the one from exploited films in the UK. It is in fact the Australian one. Really similar, but released by Force Video in Australia. That's it for the documentaries. And now finally, here's the last little section. Uh, I thought, I just forgot about the stuff over there. Some more releases which are just random, I guess. First we got two really unusual VHS versions from South Africa. And they are basically the same design. They are from a company called New Metro. I don't know how you would pronounce it. Got the big clamshell version, it's a rental, as well as the small clamshell version, which I'm pretty sure is like the retail variation. Maybe even more uncommon, this is the VHS version from Israel, and it's sort of like a combined beta and VHS case. So there's the spine, there's the back. Sort of feels like a very sort of bizarre version of the um, Wizard video from America. So that's basically like the only version which I've seen that also uses this cover. The clamshell is not original. It looks like it might be, but it's actually not. It's actually a Swedish clamshell which I just picked because it had like blue and white which worked really well with the cover. I don't think this actually has its own cover. From what I hear they basically reuse like old Warner clamshells and stuff. I don't really think it has its own 
original clamshell that's you know branded or anything some more tapes which i've all shown this is probably the most unusual thing that i've gotten this past year the company that distributed the laser disc in america i actually have the laser disc i'm talking about somewhere I'm really sure where i have this i should have it somewhere i know i do have it i just have so much so i forget where it is this is it so this one here this is the collector's edition letterbox version released by elite entertainment in america now, i've shown this before but i'm bringing it up because what i got down here is even rarer but it is very related to this so the president of elite entertainment actually posted a for sales post on facebook in one of the collectors groups and I was actually able to buy the stuff he was selling and the stuff he was selling which is like I can't even believe that I actually purchased these insanely strange items these are the master tapes that they used to produce this laser disc release they actually used Betacam masters so these are the only ones in existence these are the master tapes some different stuff here I got it all in the same purchase this is like some high definition test footage which comes on like a small cassette I don't even know what kind of format this is it sort of looks like Betamax in size but I don't think it's actually beta still looks like beta but I'm actually unsure as to what format this is you can just see here elite entertainment Texas J the massacre HD test footage so yeah this is back from 1995 there's a date on that so that's the only version I got with that particular tape size pull out these huge ones first Jesus these are the beta cam master tapes these two tapes here are for the movie I'm not gonna show these in too much detail I might make a detailed video about these later on part one of two commentary track some other audio channels the elite entertainment takes chance to massacre 178 letterbox version number one of two and number two of two this is the first time ever that I saw one of these tapes in the flesh so to speak they are fucking insane let me just flip this over check that out this is a beta cam master tape and i have no way to actually play these which is insane but i was like i know they're gonna be crazy expensive but what the hell this is like my only chance ever to pick this up it's one of a kind there's no other tape no other version like it and I'm probably never gonna get the chance again, you know, some other collector is just gonna snatch these up and then I'll be kicking myself that I didn't go ahead and purchase them. So I did, cost me way too much, not even gonna mention. So I got those two tapes which are for the movie and then there's three additional tapes. I can't remember if these are slightly smaller or if they're just different type of cassettes. Yeah, they're different type so I'm guessing these are not beta cam. It's so confusing. Sorry if I'm messing up the formats because I'm really new to this type of format. Uh, these are apparently beta cam SP. This is like bonus material and stuff. Tape one of three, outtakes, dubs. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through them all, but there's three of those. And got like film transfer, got dub. Yeah, there's just too much. I love these. These are so bizarre. So glad I bought them. One section left. Okay, over here. Oh yeah, I finally got the laser disc I was missing in the last video. This is the Wizard Video Laser Disc. Very similar to the CED disc that they put out as well. But this is the laser disc. Then we got some Japanese versions as well as some Brazilian versions. It's like Japan and Brazil. The new stuff I got is Brazilian at least down here. This is just like a collectible book. It's actually non-English sadly but it's still a very beautiful book. And then we got I think the same book but in a different release and this is sort of like a combo version. You know it's meant to look like a big VHS case so we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre like a combo pack with like Evil Dead. I just realized that this is still sealed, I haven't actually opened it yet, but it's sort of like a double kind of slip case that you pull out, you can sort of see it, it's like a cutout, and then you got two books inside, one for each movie. Like I said, they're non-English friendly, so I can't really say too much for the contents. And then we got some more 
Brazilian ones up here. Might have shown you some of these in the past, or maybe I didn't, but they're very similar in cover design. So, um, the new ones from Brazil. Trash collection. No, I didn't have this one in the last video at least. I had some of these, or very similar to this cover. Then we got the Blu-ray. And another DVD version. Possibly a boot, like actually. But still really cool. And lastly, this is the last version for this video. This is a really uncommon Japanese Blu-ray rental version. Uh, one of the few times that I've actually seen this, it, it shouldn't be too much of a collectible, I guess. But seeing as it's a rental version exclusively for rental, like it actually has rental artwork, which is really uncommon. So basically, like the only time I've ever seen this, I got it from another collector. I'm not really sure how to hunt for this. Feels like a really uncommon version. But yeah, that is it. I'm not sure if anybody's keeping track of time. I tend to sort of ah, stutter and get really... <sighs> becomes more and more difficult to speak as the video progresses. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed this Text Chainsaw Massacre update. I don't know, get itself like a annual alarm or maybe do these updates more frequently so the videos don't become so fucking long. Thank you very much for watching and as usual, hope to see you all next time.